this is a real event. We're having real events. We're having opening ceremonies, closing ceremonies, events, parties, music, anthems, mascots. We got the whole works right here. And, and food too, of course, at the end of Cockroach Cake. G. I just wanted to say on behalf of Raise the Rates and Cardi Action why we organized this event today, two years before the real 2010 Olympics happens. We all know that Vancouver is rich and beautiful, but we want the world to know that our neighborhood, just a few blocks from the site of the Olympic Media Center, has the same HIV rate as Botswana. We have thousands of homeless people in Vancouver and 150,000 at least in Canada. We have a bed bug epidemic in hotels and rooming houses. People in Canada, like people in poor countries, have to search through garbage for food and things to sell in Canada so they can survive. Our province, BC, has the highest rate of child poverty in Canada and almost half of single parents and their children are living in poverty. Welfare rates are so low that single people can't afford a place to rent and buy nutritious food. And a lot of people in dire need can't even get on welfare because the rules are so tough. Now when Vancouver got the 2010 Olympics, the city, the province, and the federal government made some commitments about housing and inclusion. The co the, then they set up a committee to tell them how to implement their, commi their commitments. And the committee was made up of developers, business people, community people, and government. <coughs> it was called the Inner City Housing Inclusive Committee. And it made some recommendations. Build 3,200 units of new affordable housing. <laughs> were unanimous and they were later endorsed by over a hundred groups. But when it came to implement the commitments, our government said they couldn't because of financial constraints. constraints. It's not true that we can't end poverty and homelessness because of financial constraints. Never in living memory have our governments been more financially able to reduce poverty and end homelessness. Never. This poverty that we have here is completely unnecessary. Our provincial government had a surplus of four billion dollars last year. That's in this tall Thing right here. They're spending four and a half billion on the Olympics. Right here. Now there's a column that we don't even have in this graph, and that would be up to about here, and that would be the federal government surplus of 14 billion. Okay, now look down here. Cost of building 3,200 units of social housing. Right here, 640 million dollars. It's tiny compared to this. Cost of raising welfare by 50%, half a million dollars, half a million dollars, it's tiny compared to this. Cost of ending the barriers, it's tiny, it's tiny. We're also holding these Olympics things, Emma, because Mayor Scott of the Civil City is cracking down on all the things that people have to do to survive when they get welfare. Or because of, or because when they do get well, when they can't, they're cracking down on all the things that people have to do when they can't get welfare, or when they do get welfare and it's too low to live on. Things like he's doing things like locking garbage bins, arresting panhandlers, and getting homeless people. Then you look at all the things the government 
can do when it wants to do something. Oh yes, they can build the rail line to the airport. How many of you have been to the airport lately? They can build the Squamish Highway. They can spend $8 million on a bus stop in Whistler. They can spend $4.5 billion on Olympic-related costs. And all of this for a game. Meanwhile, two homeless people suffered severe burns last week for trying to stay warm in a doorway when their stove exploded. Shame! 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 In the so-called most livable place in the world, people are suffering and dying because of poverty and homelessness. Poverty is not a game. Homelessness is not a game. We're holding these Olympics to tell the world that our governments are ignoring their Olympic commitments and choosing to keep people homeless and in dire poverty. We've sent news releases around the world. Yeah. And we're also holding the Poverty Olympics to tell the government it has a fantastic opportunity. I don't know if any government has ever had this opportunity. The provincial budget is on February 19th. Ending poverty and homelessness could be an Olympic legacy. It could be an awesome example. To we need to see at least $1.3 billion in that budget to end homelessness and reduce poverty. Yes!